Guys, I got boo-boos. I work too much. Today, we discuss the new YouTube GIF feature and the newest in network news. What does GIF even stand for? Then we find out who the three winners are in the $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. Thanks, Tiffany. There was a lot of YouTube-related news over the past week, so I'll try to jump through it as quickly as possible. Let's start with the new YouTube features. First up, a GIF creator has been enabled for testing on a few select YouTube channels. Simply input the start and stop times of a video where you want to create your GIF. Enter in the text you want, if any, and click the Create button. If you want to try this new feature out for yourselves, it's currently enabled on PBS and Vsauce channels. YouTube has also been working on improving its content ID system and has recently introduced a new feature that allows you to search for songs in their database for copyright info before actually uploading your video. So say for example, you create a video with the song Clap Boom by Charlie XCX. You could look that song up in the database before uploading your video so you know how it will affect your monetization beforehand. Personally, I think this is a great thing and it will save creators a lot of time in not having to deal with strikes and gathering uh, revenue taken away from them. So what do you guys think? Anyways, let's throw it back over to Tiffany to find out today's runner-up winners. Thanks, Alex. I'd love to see what kind of gifts you guys would make of me. And now, in no particular order, let's see who the two runners-up are in the $100,000 sponsorship, picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And as always, you get to choose from all these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And if you still need information about this $100,000 sponsorship, click in the video in the sidebar for more information. And now to Rick for the winners, who I could really make some gifts of, because, I mean, who still uses MySpace? Really. Our first runner-up is Slashback Progeny. Slashback advises that sometimes content can get stale with your viewers, so instead, change things up a bit and watch your subscriber count escalate. Our next runner-up is Rob B. Rob B states being energetic is a great way to keep your audience always coming back for more. No one wants to see a shy commentator. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember, you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode of Impulse. And now back to Alex for some more network newsy news. 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 Awesome. Let's wrap this up with some quick network-related news. Awesomeness TV Network, which was acquired by DreamWorks back in May of 2013, has just sold 25% stake to Hearst Digital Studios for $81.25 million, valuing the network in the ballpark of $325 million. These companies have worked well together in the past, so I'm kind of curious to see what they end up churning out. Next, Fullscreen has joined forces with India's MCN, Kyuki. I hope I'm saying that right, Kyuki. They claim that the partnership is designed to provide greater talent development resources to India and expand Fullscreen's global reach and influence. Very interesting. Kind of looks like Fullscreen saw Freedom's global influence in Asia and decided they wanted to do the same. And lastly, if you haven't checked out YouTube Rewind 2014, it features over 120 creators that you may recognize going over this year's popular videos and creations. We'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. Anyways, let's throw it back over to Tiffany one last time to find out today's $100,000 grand prize winner. At that four minute mark of the YouTube Rewind, I really thought we were going to let it go, but no, we still have the Frozen reference because we can't let it go. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, what we get every day. Let's see who wins the $250 in prizes. You get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by partners with Freedom. Freedom. And now back to Rick, who also needs to let it go. And today's winner is Overflow Kayubi. Overflow proclaims that if Freedom partners with the MSI, then it would be a great asset to the Freedom family and beneficial to all partners. He was also incredibly active in the comments and suggests that everyone should take criticism constructively in order to grow a successful channel. Congratulations, Overflow Kayubi. Here's some constructive criticism for you. Stop being so damn awesome. Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. Remember, guys, to share your knowledge, discuss today's topics, and interact with fellow Freedom Partners in the comments below. Go talk to me. 
and you too could be rewarded for helping the community grow together like a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse and tomorrow Mike goes over another awesome way to grow your channel. Until next time, I'm your host Tiffany and seriously, what is a GIF? I know what TJIF is. Does it have to do with GIF? Like peanut butter? Why well, always hurt myself? I should live in a bubble. Okay, I'm awake. Let's do this. And the newest and new words. Okay. You know, there it is at the end, just in all its glory. Can't let it go. We just can't let it go. You get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by Partners with Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> you can totally use that sometime, by the way. I'm fine with it. I can totally. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're doing that then. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hope you guys today. Hope you guys today. Siri, I cannot say sentences. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Impulse, and tomorrow, Zesty Mike goes over more amazing things.